Hiya guys, Feral here, and welcome back to XCOM, Enemy Within. So, what do we got going on today? I have no idea. It is uh, just a little past 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> so, I'm pretty, I'm pretty beat. It is, uh, what is it? It is September 16th. Today. I'm still waking up, guys, so once again, it is coffee time with Veril. Let me just... Oh, delicious. Alright, what do we got going on here? Mission Control. Um, Looks like we got a lot of stuff going on here. How much money we got? <laughs> Not a lot. Okay, let's let's scan for a mission. Let's just nah. Oh, uh, they want one. No, uh uh. Wouldn't give up a satellite? Are you kidding me? All right, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, good. This is where the steam is. <sighs> But, it's still not going to help me because I still don't have any money. I want to build all my satellite uplinks here. We really need another satellite uplink. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Well, my orders are not quite yet. You're telling me that we should risk the lives of our troops so we can take one of these things alive? Yes. Without a live specimen, I'm afraid we've reached the pinnacle of what my team is able to accomplish. And how do you suggest we do this, Doctor? The autopsy I've just completed confirms that the alien's physiology is quite similar to our own. A highly concentrated electrical current delivered at close range should cause neuromuscular... Close range? And what happens if it doesn't work? Do you really think this is worth the risk? I do. We do not know our enemy. How can we hope to stop something that we do not understand? If we can capture one of these creatures alive, we may be able to communicate with it. And interrogate it. Find out what they want. Where they're operating from. Yes. That possibility outweighs all risks, in my opinion. I could construct a safe enough facility to house our captive, but I do not know how we could possibly communicate with it. Not to worry. I will see to that. All right. I'll speak to the commander. All right. So, <laughs> construct the alien containment facility, research the arc thrower, build an arc thrower, capture a live alien, and interrogate it. Uh, once again, I will leave this up for you guys to read. Just pause the video. Okay. So now we can build the alien containment, and the next thing we should probably research, I really want to do, let's do an autopsy on the sectoid. We've made a number of interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. Hmm. Yes, I have seen that. All right. Well, Dr. Valen, you take care of the sectoid. We are going back to mission control. And we're going to scan for more activity. Officer 
training school online. Excellent. Awesome. We will be able to whoops. We'll be able to do some more with that. Um once we uh once we get some cash, which I don't even know where it's placed here, uh, in the base. Didn't I put it all the way over here? I did, there it is. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Okay. Council report in eight days. All right, assign new research. I will read these, because I think they're kind of cool. We have found no discernible genetic variants between any of the small humanoid aliens that we have examined thus far. They are perfect genetic copies, each and every one of them. The subject's brain is quite sizable with respect to its body, and appears to have been augmented even further with cybernetic implants of some kind. Considering the fragile nature of these creatures' physical form, it is safe to assume that these implants were intended to somehow improve the combat effectiveness of the species. Dr. Shen and the engineering team have already developed several theories as to how we might be able to adapt these implants to our own use. Additional tactical information may be available in the field when viewing the hostile targets with the unit analysis view. Um, Dr. Valen's personal note, cloning, genetic manipulation, biomedical implants, the implications of this technology and the alien's motives are not reassuring. Uh, so with this we get the uh, uplink targeting, which will increase the aim of our interceptors, but you can only use it once. So uh, not not high priority at this point. Um, hmm. We will go with alien materials now. Council report in five days. And now we stop it. Our council report is tomorrow. So we're going to head over to the situation room. So far, so good. No countries are panicking. We are doing an amazing job. So now we actually get to choose where we want to launch this satellite. We could launch it in the United States, lowering some of their panic, and we would receive an extra $180 uh, added to our monthly, which is only 96 Uh <clears throat> The only problem is we would have to put an interceptor over here. Russia is 150. I think putting a satellite over the United States might be a necessity at this point, though. We'll monitor that contact, but I don't think it's related to the UFO activity. Oh, Bradford must be talking to somebody there. Um. Yeah. Yep. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. Okay. Let's get over to the hangar then real quick. We have got two interceptors. We are going to need to transfer Raven 2 to North America. That will take eight days. And we are ready for our council report. And transmission decoded. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Alright. Thank you, Shadowy Figure. I appreciate it. So, our total monthly reward is uh, $461. We get one scientist and one engineer, which is perfect because that's all we needed to make 10. Remember, we will be watching. Yes, I, I will try to remember that. Engineering. Two engineers arrived this morning, Commander. 
We're always glad to have more help down here. Mm, yes, for once, Dr. Shen, you're uh, very optimistic. So, first thing I want to do is um, get another satellite uplink together. And we'll be begin the construction on that. This will enable us to, I believe, launch another three satellites, since we will get the adjacency bonus. So we'll, we will need to construct more satellites. Uh, I'm thinking I, I should probably build the thermo generator. It's going to take up all of my money, but... I really won't have to worry about power for uh, quite some time. Let's do that. Now I want to go to the gray market. Technology. Hmm? If the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. Rosie, as usual, Doctor Shen. All right, so let's go to the gray market. I'm going to sell a few more sectoid corpses. Um, I'm not going to be using this flight computer anytime soon uh, in the near future, so I'm actually going to sell it. Uh, that is about all I can afford to sell, though. The last thing I wanted to do was go to the officer training school and increase our squad size to five soldiers. And that gives us a little bit of extra cash that we can use uh, until we can gain some more from missions. Okay, we will assign a new research. We get the nanofiber vest. These take so long. Let's do experimental warfare because that'll be the your shortest. To support the research team, Commander, I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Good job, Doctor Volen. Aircraft transfer complete. Here we go. We got action, Commander. We have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hollow globe. All right. So from the looks of it, from the looks of it, we're going to Argentina. I kind of get to choose, though. And I almost, almost want the scientists. Let's go take a look at how South America is actually doing when it comes to the overall panic status. Not bad at all. Um, it's... Argentina is up there. If I leave them, they will surely panic. I'm not going to have any repercussions of that, though, uh, early this month. And I can launch a satellite next month, or uh, at the end of this month, to lower it. But then I've got China and UK to think about, along with the United States climbing into their, uh, into their panic. Uh, the United States... Nothing's I have a satellite. Boards are clear. Thank you, Bradford. Um, I have a satellite in the United States, but Canada and Mexico here uh, count as North America, as a continent, as a... They count for a continent as a whole, and uh, they will surely start to affect the United States. Yeah, I will, I will, I will go to Argentina. Um... I think I will do that in the next video. This video will just be a short one about me just kind of derping around the base. 
So uh, thank you everybody for watching. Please stay tuned for the next one, and I will see you in a little bit. Thank you. Bye-bye.